Hi guys, Chet here. Today we're diving into a side-by-side -side comparison of Airtable and Supabase. I'll break down their use cases, ease of use, key features, pricing, and who should be using which. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one suits your project best. First off, let's take a quick look at both platforms. Airtable is a no-code database and collaboration tool that feels like a spreadsheet but acts like a database. It's designed for people who want to organize data, manage workflows, and build light apps without touching code. On the other hand, Supabase is a back-end as a service platform that gives developers a scalable backend powered by PostgreSQL and it's open source and designed as a Firebase alternative. Now, it lets you build secure production ready apps with real-time databases, authentication, storage, and serverless functions all while keeping full control of your infrastructure. Now let's talk about features. Airtable focuses on simplicity and flexibility. You can create different views like grids, calendars, Kanban boards, and forms to visualize your data. It also offers automations, app integrations, and interfaces that allow you to build lightweight apps or internal tools quickly. Plus, it's ideal for marketers, project managers, and product teams who don't want to code but still need powerful organization. Supabase, on the other hand, and is more developer centric. It includes everything that you'd expect from a backend stack, a hosted Postgres database, authentication system, file storage, edge functions, and even real-time subscriptions. It's made for developers who want to build and deploy scalable web or mobile apps without stitching together different services manually. And the best part is that it's fully open source. Next up, let's talk about user experience. Airtable is extremely beginner friendly. If you know how to use Excel or Google Sheets, you can get started briefly really within minutes. The interface is modern, intuitive, and built for collaboration. But if you're trying to build something highly technical or scalable, it might feel limiting. Supabase, on the other hand, takes a bit more time to learn, but it offers way more power. Developers will appreciate the full SQL access, API docs, and GitHub integration. It's not made for beginners, but if you have development experience, it's incredibly rewarding. Now let's talk about pricing. Airtable has four plans, free, team, business and enterprise scale. The free plan costs nothing. Team is $20 per seat per month if you pay for the whole year. Business is $45 per seat per month, also billed annually. And enterprise scale has custom pricing based on what you need. On the other hand, Superbase also offers four plans. The free plan is completely free. Pro starts at $25 per month. Team starts at $599 per month. Enterprise, like Airtable, has custom pricing depending on your specific requirements. So which one should you go for? Well, if you're looking to build internal tools, organize team data, or set up a no-code workflow system, Airtable is a great pick. But if you are building a full stack app and you need real-time data, authentication, and scalable backend features, Supabase really is the way to go. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.